Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you a recipe for an adorable little cake known as my almond raspberry thimble cakes. I call them thimble cakes because they look like they were baked in a little thimble, but actually we're gonna use a mini cheesecake pan instead. Let me show you how quick and easy they come together. So in a large bowl, we're gonna add three quarters cup of melted unsalted butter, three quarters cup of white sugar, and you wanna just whisk that together until everything is combined. To that, you're gonna add two eggs, a quarter cup of water, and one teaspoon of almond extract. You can go ahead and whisk all of that up until it's nice and smooth. And then in a separate bowl, we're gonna add our dry ingredients, which is just a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And you can go ahead and whisk that up until combined. And then you're gonna add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and just give it a whisk until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna use a mini cheesecake pan. I love this pan because they have removable bottoms to them, which makes releasing the cake so much easier. And you can make mini cheesecakes in it. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna know where to get one. But you could also take this recipe and put it in a mini muffin pan or just a regular muffin tin would work too. And then you're gonna spray your pan with a little baking spray and just make sure it's well distributed with a pastry brush. And then using a mini ice cream scoop, or you could also use two spoons, you wanna spoon in the batter. If you're using a mini ice cream scoop, it takes about two scoops, so about halfway full. And then once you fill all of the wells, the next step is to take a little bit of raspberry jam. Now I do like to put it in a pastry bag because I find you get a lot more precision when you do it this way, but you also could use two little spoons as well. And you just wanna do a little dollop of jam on each cake the nice thing about this is you could do some raspberry, some apricot, maybe some strawberry. You really can switch it up. And then you wanna to top with some sliced almonds, just about a half a teaspoon or so on each cake. And then you are gonna bake at 350 for about 22 minutes. You do want to allow them to cool slightly because it will be hot to handle that pan uh, to get the cakes out. So do give them a chance to cool. And once they're ready to go, you can go under your tin and push the cake through and you'll see you have the cutest little thimble cake on your hands. And then the finishing touch is just to dust with some powdered sugar and place them on your daintiest little cake stand. What's so sweet about these little cakes is they are the perfect size to fit right on a saucer of a cup of tea. No need to even get out the plates. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. I think you'll find they are the perfect little thing to serve at a shower, a brunch, or any time you wanna have a nice little girly tea party. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you back here again soon for another quick and easy recipe. Until then, bye.